who are taking charge of this game. Clarendon College, the first to venture forward with Christopher Hall, his right-footed shot saved by Antoine Gooden in goal. The opening goal came on 18 minutes and it came for Clarendon College, a play that started with their influential forward, Kahim Dixon, out to Christopher Hall, Hall to Atiba Green, Green across the face of goal, and Kahim Dixon knocking it in for his seventh career Champions Cup goal, his fourth of this campaign, and he continues his fantastic form and history of scoring in all finals he's participated in in the last three seasons. Glenmuir took a while to get into this one, but their captain Kyle Gordon finally got going, laid this one off to Jason White, and White placed it beautifully into the far corner. Rashid Burrell had no chance in goal, and Glenmuir were level at 1-1. That came completely against the run of play. It came out of nowhere, as we said at the time. But from there, it was for the most part Glenn Muir, the captain, Gordon, coming to life. His left footed shot over the top. And then in the second half, a rain Watson taken down by Nashawn Bolt. He saw a straight red. And the outstanding national youth player. Clarendon College centre-back stunned by the red card but Clarendon College would be even more stunned by the quality of this Kyle Gordon free kick ferociously poured into the back of the net his 10th goal of the season a strike worth a perfect 10 and then you were in front Aureen Watson should have done better with that headly delivery Malachi Douglas was fighting for Clarendon College at the other end. That one was over the top. And every time you thought you had seen everything in this game, we just kept seeing more. 3 1 at this stage to Glenn Muir and Kahim Dixon hit the left upright. And in the same play, the captain Malachi Douglas struggling to find space, somehow found space. And his shot hit the right upright. Kahim Dixon couldn't turn it home. And maybe that told us it wasn't Clarendon College's night. And then this mistake. I guess there can be no great game without an error. And it came from the Clarendon College goalkeeper, Rashe Burrell. He timed this well. He got there. And the clearance was terrible. And Doreen Watson capitalized for his eighth goal of the season the first in the champions cup this campaign for Glenmuir high and that made it 3-1 the red party had begun Kahim Dixon won a penalty for Clarendon College Antoine Gooden wasn't happy with the call Malachi Douglas stepped up and produced his 17th goal of the campaign. And 